Today, President Trump lashed out again on Twitter, this time with a mock video targeting CNN. The cable news network called the tweet juvenile, and the network suggested the president do his job instead. And this is the cover of tomorrow's New York Post, with the president dressed as a wrestler in a ring. The headline, Rowdy Donnie Griper, an apparent reference to late wrestler Rowdy Roddy Piper. CBS 4's Paula Reed has more from Bridgewater, New Jersey, where the president is spending the weekend at his country club. Over the past several days, the president has tweeted several attacks against CNN and MSNBC, culminating in a tweet with a video of him literally wrestling CNN WWE style. The original video is from when the president participated in WrestleMania's Battle of the Billionaires. And in the original video, he is clotheslining WWE chief Vince McMahon. But in the recent video, they've replaced McMahon's face with the CNN logo. He's a genuine president expressing himself genuinely. And to be honest, I think that's why he was elected. CNN responded with a statement saying that it's a sad day when the president is encouraging violence against reporters. Earlier in the week, the president was in a war of words with MSNBC hosts Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski, calling them crazy and dumb as a rock. Politicians have had mixed reactions to the president's use of Twitter. I'm hoping that he'll, you know, that his family's going to talk to him and they'll say, knock it off. It's not going to do any good for me or anyone else to come in and just comment on things we might not like about his Twitter behavior. In between tweets, the president still has quite a bit of work to do, especially on health care. Republicans are currently split on whether they can repeal and replace Obamacare with one agreement or if they'll have to repeal the law and then work through August on its replacement. And the president on Monday, he will head back to Washington, D.C. for the 4th of July holiday, where he and his wife will host a picnic for military families. And they've said they plan to watch the fireworks from the White House. Paula Reed, CBS News, Bridgewater, New Jersey.